students this video deals with the thomson's plum pudding model of an atom so let's start the video are the charged particles arranged in any particular manner this was the question of the day or are the charged particles spread throughout the atom or are they concentrated in one place like you can see in this diagram you can see are they spread throughout the atom or are they concentrated in one place Dalton's atomic theory stated that an atom was indivisible and indestructible. So this person said that atom it's indivisible and indestructible. However, in 1886, Wollstein came upon positively charged radiation in a gas discharge tube, which he termed as canal rays. As you can see here, these are the canal rays and these are the protons. These radiations led to the discovery of proton. The mass of a proton was about 2,000 times more than an electron. It carried a positive charge. In 1900, J.J. Thomson conducted experiments on the beam of particles inside a glass tube called a cathode ray tube. He found that the particles were attracted to the positive terminal of the tube. Thompson concluded that the particles must be negatively charged particles and call these particles electrons. Electrons, they have negligible mass and have charge of minus one. These discoveries made the scientists believe that the atoms are indivisible and made up of electrons and protons, but they didn't know at the time that how these electrons and protons are arranged in an atom. They tried to understand these arrangements through various experiments. So J.J. Thompson, through various experiments, was the first one to put forward a model to explain the structure of an atom. Like you can see here, in his model, Thompson compared an atom to a Christmas pudding. The electrons were like raisins in the pudding, and the pudding itself is like the positively charged particles. This can be also explained through the example of a watermelon. As you can see in the diagram, the positive charge in the atom is spread all over like the red fleshy part of the watermelon, while the electrons are embedded in, into the atoms like the seeds of watermelon. The positively charged particles are held together through electrostatic force of attraction. Thompson concluded that an atom consists of positively charged sphere with electrons are set within the sphere, as you can see. An atom is electrically neutral as positive and negative charges are equal. So the Thomson conclusion was that electrons were embedded in a sphere of positive charge. The conclusion made by Thomson, however, was incorrect but it led to explain many experimental observations. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Wish you all the best.